Hey everybody, today we're doing a massive damage build that involves the Panther and the Salt Held Food. The Panther doubles the Held Food ability and Salt doubles the damage of pets that are lower tiers, so the damage gets insane. As always, like the video if you enjoyed, and if you want to see more of this content, you can subscribe down below. If there's other games you want me to try, leave a comment down below. Okay, so I'm back with doing the voiceovers because my last couple of videos got um, corrupted a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. So with this build, we're going for a salty panther build. So the panther includes, or the ability is that it doubles whatever held food it has. So if it has melon, at tier 1, it'll block up to 40 damage. Tier 2 will block uh, 60 damage. And then, like, same with melon or steak, it'll double it. And so, we're going to be going with salt. And salt doubles the attack that you do if you're attacking a lower tiered pet. So, like, with um, the panther, since it's a tier 5, if the panther is attacking something like a sheep that we see here, it would do double damage. And so it can get pretty crazy on how much damage it can do. I think a couple of the hits that we get go well above 100. I think even close to 200. And then we do win this one. We win pretty early on. And then trying to get the pug leveled up as well and the frog and then I'm thinking about getting the level 3 fish and also think about flamingo yeah so we get very close on getting the level 3 fish and we're already at 3 wins on turn 5 and then we combine the pugs to bring in the flamingo. So we're just kind of focusing on this fish. And I guess we pill that ant to bring in another ant. So I think I was just going for permanent stats there. So we do get the level up in battle from the fish. And then we draw that one. And then, yeah, I'll freeze another pill. I guess both of them for the flamingo and the ant. And then I think I pill both of them and then bring them both back. Which I mean, getting stats for that much, I don't know if it's worth it. So we do have enough stats to keep going and keep drawing because we're still at five hearts. So we do get the level up on the frog. And I thought about going for moose, but we didn't need it. And we do get the double shark, which is nice, but it's not the build that we're going for right now. So I bring in the cow to get more stats. And we just keep pumping this fish. We're going big fish. And then I think we're good on the fish here. And then look at the size of this fish, just clearing through them. So we're on four wins now. And then there's the hoopa bird. So we sell the frog, grab the hoopa bird. And then we keep rolling fish, but we don't need them at this point. And so I'm thinking about selling the fish, but he's our biggest unit. So I bring the lynx instead of the cow. And then we're going to get the level up for next turn. That's crazy. And 
so we do take out the flea but then the weakness is just way too strong for us and it was crazy that we had three ants right there and then we we do get the panther on the roll here and so we're we're pivoting like crazy and so you'll get to see a little bit of the salt action and then I'm bringing in the T-Rex just so we can stat the Panther, which is not amazing because it's only giving two one to one pet. But we'll sell the pug later on. So he should be doing double damage, but he gets sniped so we don't get to see it. So we keep drawing, so we're still at four hearts, so we're good. Bring the pineapple onto the Hoopa bird. But I think we unfreeze it because we're going to go for mushroom instead. Yeah, so we get the monkey and a panther in this roll. So I think we bring in both of them just to start statting everything. And then I always like to use chocolate first. Um, I thought I was going to use it on the panther, but by using the chocolate, it frees up the two spaces that we have. So next turn, we will get the level two panther. Uh, and then our salt goes away again. So I still can't show it off. And then we take a loss there, which is fine. Because we're still at three hearts, four wins. So there's the level two panther. And then we'll just go for a couple more stats to try to survive. And then take a look at how much damage it does. Oh, it only does two right now. Because he had lemon. Oh, and I forgot that it has to be a lower tiered pet. It can't be the same tiered pet. So since it was on another panther, it did nothing. And then I think I keep rolling here, trying to find more stuff to help us survive. So the mushroom should help out with the hoopa bird. So we snipe the deer and then 80 damage right there, which is insane. Just with one hit. So we're bringing the mushroom and the T-Rex. And so I think we just go melon here to try to survive. And so I'm kind of debating on if I should bring in the melon onto the panther instead of the T-Rex just to try to survive. But I wanted to show off the salt. And so that's what we go for. And so look at how much damage he does. 24, oh, so it didn't do the double damage because the tier was higher. But we're still surviving somehow. And I'm thinking of gra grabbing the tiger here so then the T-Rex has something else to scale. And then I guess I freeze both of them to see what else we can get. But I go pair just to get more stats. So now he's at 30, 31. So then he's going to be doing 120 damage. That's crazy. Just in one hit. And so I bring in both lynxes. And then bring in the panther as well. So now he's at 35, 36. And he's just growing like crazy. 140 damage. 133. It's so crazy. And since we're just scaling like crazy, his attack just is exponential. And so I'm just trying to survive so we level up the links. And then we actually get another one there. And so I'll roll again. 
and then we do get a level two T-Rex. And then I hold the melon to put onto the monkey or the tiger. That's some good snipes. And then 164 damage, 157. And we keep drawing, which is great. So we get another monkey and then we bring in the melon onto the tiger. And then we level up the monkey again, just to get the panther super big. So now he's a 49-49. So then how much he does 196 and since he has a lot of health he just survives all these summons it, it's just crazy how much damage it can do so the level 2 tiger should help out and then I think I put the chocolate onto the panther no I don't Oh, because he's going to be statted anyway. And so I, I'm i thinking about switching the order. Just so the monkey's not being wasted. And so now we have a 50-50 panther. And then we draw again. So this game goes out for quite a long time. And then we go for a tier three T-Rex. And we actually didn't have that achievement before, which is nice. And, maybe we put the T -Rex in front like that. and then we put the T-Rex in front and give him a cupcake to just get a couple more stats. And sadly, the whole team is gonna get so much attack there. Yeah, and then that's where we lose it on this round. So now we're on to the next video, and we're still going for the Salty Panther. And I never noticed that, I think right before I filmed this, they came out with the update. And so they made the frog a 3-2 instead of a 3-1. And so we draw on that one, bring in two ants. And then we also get another frog as well. So then we'll get two level ups. And so we'll just keep cruising through here. We actually win that one. And then we get the Hoopa Bird. It's such a good pet, especially at tier three. And then we'll grab the hedgehog as well. And then, so basically by using the hedgehog, we can try to draw a little bit more, but I bring in the cricket. So if the hedgehog goes off, it'll kill almost everything and then our zombie cricket will come in and hopefully get us the win yeah so our cricket stayed alive there and then i'm thinking about selling the frog here and then i save the pill i think i I guess I'm going for a tier three, I mean a, a level three ant. Sometimes it's not worth it to go for the tier three. So here we actually get the draw because of the cricket in the back. So we're super close to getting the level three ant. And then we do get a level two hedgehog, which is huge. Sadly, they moved our cricket around and 
we lost that, but the hedgehog didn't go off, so we're good. And we just keep getting hedgehog after hedgehog. So we we move the frog to the back, so when we sell, it doesn't switch around the stats. And then I thought about going double hedgehog and get another hedgehog there. And then we go deer here instead, just because it's a better summon pet. And then I'm still wanting to find that ant. And we do find it. And so I'll be using that pineapple onto probably the lynx. And then he gets stat just one more health point. And so we actually lose that one. So we get the tier three. And another pineapple for the Hoopa bird. So we just send it how it is. And sadly, everything's dead, but then we get our bus and they draw. I forgot that he had a, a deer as well. So I'm thinking about killing the ant, like I was saying before. But sadly, by doing that, it does remove some damage for the link, the lynx. So he's not doing, he's doing two less damage once I buy another pet. And then I think we go another hedgehog. And do I switch the order? I think so, just so it goes all off at once. And then we'll get the the bus at the very end and then the dolphin sniped our deer and we actually lose that one as well and so we buy the pineapple first grab the cow and then start statting the lynx because we're going to be keeping the lynx long term I think we bring in the dolphin for more snipes. But then we actually roll onto the monkey, so we kind of say no to everything else. I'm surprised that I kept the monkey in the back because the hedgehog. But we'll keep rolling how it is. So we get another monkey and we can level it up. And then we're just looking for the panther. And then we're going double monkey just to get something super big. And I don't think we go hoop over just because we're going to be selling it soon. I'm still thinking about it, but then we just go past it. Yeah, and then then the rat actually saves us there. If we would have not had the rats, then we would have drawn that. And so I think we sell the hedgehog to bring in another lynx. And then we get another monkey as well. And I, yeah, I was gonna say we could have gone mushroom there on the hoover bird to get more damage going. And so our monkeys are gone. And we don't even need the hoover bird for that round. And then we actually get the T Rex and the Panther. And then I don't remember if we combine the monkeys or not. Do we? I think we combine. Because then the T Rex buffed the monkey and the panther. I think I. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. There's another panther. But we. 
I'm surprised that I actually put that one on there. So we get the salt that we're looking for. And then we're just making our panther big. And they got a big falcon. Yeah. And so we put the monkeys together, buy the salt, and then buy the T-Rex. And then the pretzel just is going to do plus two, plus two. And so I think we go salt onto the T-Rex, so it'll do double damage on everything except tier sixes. And then how much damage are we doing now? 48 damage on lower tiers. And then we take out the rams as well. Okay, so we get the level three monkey, which is huge. And then we're just trying to keep buffing up our panther. And then we do get the chocolate. And we put on the lynx, which I'm surprised about. And so the lynx is doing nine damage to two different pets. And then I think next turn we'll bring the tiger and get rid of the hoopa bird. So sadly our salt goes away because the flea. And then the chili is just deadly at this point. And so we go down to one heart now. So we'll get rid of the hoop bird, bring in the tiger. And then now we can use the pretzel to get plus four, plus four. There's another tiger, we'll freeze it. And then we'll just bring in the melon to get a little more protection. And then now the T-Rex can stat all three pets. And so how much damage are we going to do now? 94, 114. That's crazy. And then we actually lose. So we actually got really close on that one too. Okay, so now we're on the third try. We're trying to get the Salty Panther build. And then we'll choose some fun names going in there. So the seahorses do nothing right now, and we actually get the draw, which is nice. And then we actually get more chinchillas and more ants, which is good. And then we'll combine the chinchillas to bring in a fish. And then those stats should help out. And we actually kill the pig there with the ant, which is nice. I think the early wins are super crucial as well. And we get two elephants. And so I think we bring in the elephant just to get some big stats because it's a 3-7. And then we sell the chinchilla and then it spawns a loyal chinchilla. And then we can bring in another elephant. As I said before, the chinchilla is like a better pig look at that we actually get the win there so we're on two wins still five hearts and then we bring in the flamingo freeze the pill and then i i think we pill the flamingo and bring in another ant Sadly, our elephant goes right in front of our fish. But we have enough to take out the seahorse. And then I'm thinking about grabbing the hedgehog here. Just because it'll do a bunch of damage and then our elephant will stay alive. So we'll bring in the hoopa bird. As you can tell, I really like the hoopa bird. And then there's another hedgehog. So, kind of stinks that our elephant's in front, 
but then he'll do a lot of damage and it doesn't matter anyway. So we'll bring in the pineapple and the hoopa bird. And then I hold off on the ant to try to get the monkey or the panther. And we'll use the pineapple instead. So then he'll do two more damage. And then the weakness hits our elephant. But we're good anyway. So we'll level up here and we do get the monkey. And so I don't remember exactly what we do here. Okay, so we sell the fish and then what do we do next? We pill. I want to pill the ant so bad. I think we pill the ant and bring in the dragonfly. No, or I think it's the blobfish. And so he'll go... Yeah, the hedgehog is just going to kill the monkey there, no matter what. But I guess the dolphin already kills it. And then we draw here. And then there's another Hoopa bird. We'll look for a pill and we do get it there. And we do get three more of those pets. I think it's the Mandrill is what it's called or something. So bring in the cow, get more stats. And we're statting the Hoopa bird because we want to keep him around. And then there's another hedgehog. I don't know why I left the hedgehog that far ahead, because it's going to do a lot of damage everywhere. And then we actually win that one, because the Hoopa bird. So level two there. I was thinking about going cat there just to buff up some other pets. But we do get another monkey, so we'll sell the cow and get another monkey. And then we don't need any more hedgehogs. And then we do get another monkey. And so we get sniped a little bit, but we survive. And we get another monkey so we can get a level two. And then I freeze the tiger and get rid of the elephant. And I think we put the tiger behind the Hoopa bird. So then he's gonna do an insane amount of damage. So our tiger stays alive and then everything's dead. So we're still at six wins, four hearts. So we're doing pretty good. There's the salt that we need for the panther. And then there's another hoopa bird. And we still can't find the panther. And then everything's dead again. And we lose that one, drop down to three hearts. And then we'll probably get rid of the hedgehog just because it keeps screwing us up. And then T-Rex is good because we can start setting the monkeys and we just get an insane amount of monkeys this turn. And so we'll start statting the T-Rex and give him a lemon because the Hoopa bird is statted enough. And then we draw here. Come on, where's the panther? And then we're still needing to find the panther. And I hesitate to buy the T-Rex because still no we still need to find the panther. But our T-Rex is getting big, so 
we're doing decent. And then the tiger does extra damage and stays alive. And then we finally get the panther here. And then we'll combine the monkeys, bring in the panther, bring in the salt. And then we'll freeze the tiger as well to get a level two. And so we just need the panther to get huge very quickly. And then we have enough to kill the falcon, which is nice. And then we're scaling at a pretty good pace here. And then I think we level up the T-Rex maybe? Or I guess we're going for panther. We do roll into another panther. And then a T-Rex as well. So then we're up to a 2026, which isn't bad, but it's still kind of weak. But we one shot the butterfly, which is nice. And then we drop down to two hearts. So then I think we just buy like everything here. We grab the mushroom instead of the tiger. And then we'll get another T-Rex. So now our panther is up to 3138. We're still in two hearts, so we're doing good. And then 124 damage. 117. And then we're good because we break the melon and then do a crazy amount of damage with the Hoopa Bird. And so now we're at nine wins, so we just need to seal the deal here. I meant to grab the T-Rex there instead of the cow. And then... Yeah, we didn't need any more monkeys, but that's crazy getting rolling into seven monkeys in one turn. But now our panther's at 4250. And that just did a crazy amount of damage as well. And then we get the win. So, hopefully you enjoyed the salty panther build, and... I'll see you guys in the next one.